In Anchorage, the historic running of the Iditarod has officially started. And the Tweedo ladies are about to participate in a very unusual Alaskan tradition. These people are fools, man. They're going to have a horn right up there. And here I am now. Are you ready? survived the running of the reindeer, and the girls make one last stop before heading back to Unicleet. Unicleet is really small, so in order to get warm clothing, we have to come to Anchorage and go shopping. The villages of Alaska are so remote that big city amenities are non-existent. Villagers often fly into larger cities such as Anchorage to stock up on cold weather gear, appliances, and everyday needs. There's your onesie. My onesie. I like it. I want one of those. Those are like the Iditarod jackets. Bring it on, Ayla. Holy moly, I can't even hold this thing. It's so big. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a wrestling match, and the deal was whoever won um, had to wear a fur bikini for Kane, and they got to like show off a little and be all cutesy and stuff. <laughs> Kids, I could hear screaming in the front, so I went to check on them. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. They were screaming and falling on the floor, so I just walked off again, acted like I didn't know them. Okay, I think I won. Ayla sat on me and pretty much won. So actually, I won, because she's going to be freezing out there and waving at a 19-year-old. She's hot, so I didn't lose. <laughs> I heard her say it. She totally lied. No way. It's all right. Nice try, though. Good yeah. try. It's typical. They like to make fools of themselves, just like I do, you know, almost daily. Winners. Oh, wow. 